Bonjour and bienvenue to the Western Caribbean where Ponant's beautiful explorer-class ship Le Dumont de Ville is currently wowing her guests with the most exhilarating island hopping experience that can possibly be had in this beautiful part of the world. A Caribbean cruise in the run-up to Christmas is the perfect mix of jovial festive anticipation and jaw-droppingly gorgeous scenery, fabulous weather, mostly, and well, just the thing to escape the cold European winter. The vlogs are coming soon, so please subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and we promise you'll absolutely love what drops in your notifications over the next few months. In the meantime, now you have probably finished tucking into your mince pies over Christmas, feast your own mince pies eyes on this sleek supermodel of a ship. At only 131 meters in length, this ship is one of only a few that can squeeze into some of the tiny islands, beaches and bays that would elude the vast majority of cruise passengers. And we have lots of details about that, and we'll be taking you around every single one of them in an upcoming Experience blog series. To begin with though, let's show you around this stunning little ship so you can see for yourselves what a tasty proposition a ship with less than 200 passengers is when you're exploring one of the most famous and photographed destinations in the world. Let's get on board! Le Dumont de Ville is the fourth of six near identical sisters of the Explorers class of expedition cruise ships in the Ponon fleet. Each ship in the Explorer class has been named after a famous French explorer and this one is named after Jules Dumont de Ville, a 19th century French naval officer and explorer who has many geographical places named after him, like Deville Island in New Zealand and the Deville Sea in Antarctica. Built in 2019, Jules' namesake still looks and feels brand new. Through to the front of the ship on deck three, you'll get to the theater, which unusually for a cruise ship can accommodate every one of the 184 guests if the ship is at full capacity in one sitting. It has an LED wall at the back of the stage and hosts port and expedition talks as well as evening entertainment. Walk towards the aft on deck three and the corridor opens into this spacious and beautiful modern reception area, which includes a reception and concierge desk, an excursions desk, the ship's administrative services, and a future cruise sales office. Also here is a generously sized shop which sells high quality clothing, jewelry, beauty products, and other goods, most of which is Ponant branded apparel specific to the ship. I haven't yet found out the significance of the number 88, but I'm sure someone will enlighten me in the comments. Please. The rear of Deck 3 features Le Nemo Main Lounge, the main social area for pre-dinner drinks, post-dinner musical entertainment, daily port talks and afternoon tea. The seats here are very comfy and you can take that from us. We sat in here for ages. Why? Well, because there's a bar which serves complimentary cocktails as well as real coffee and a selection of the poshest teas we've ever seen on a ship. Believe it or not, that's not the best part of this lounge. That's through these double doors at the back. There's a beautiful sun deck and outdoor seating area here on deck three, comprising mainly of the alfresco dining venue, The Grill, open daily for lunch and evening dinner. You'll see much more about The Grill in our experience review vlog. Standard to all Explorer class ships is the stunning Infinity Pool, which looks too small to get any meaningful swim exercise until you discover it has a counter current swimming system built in so it's not so much a case of how many lengths you do, but how long you can swim as the lengths never end. We give this a good testing in our vlog and believe us, it's not for beginners. The pool overlooks a huge and very useful marina deck right at the back, which boasts a hydraulic platform that can be height adjusted for zodiac embarkation for expeditions or lowered below the waterline for paddling in the sea or easy access to water sports toys like kayaks and paddleboards. As we said in our review of sister ship Le Bello, this marina deck is the most beautifully designed we've seen on any ship and is what Ponant does exceptionally well across its fleet, including the older, larger Boreal class ships. You can see a tour of one of those, L'Australe, on our channel. Let's go up these stairs to deck four where you'll find another outdoor seating area which brings the adjacent Le Nautilus restaurant outside for those fine dining lovers who prefer an alfresco experience. I love these little wings to this deck where you can sit at your table for an unhindered 270 degree view all of your own. 
Go inside through these doors and you'll discover Le Nautilus Restaurant, the charming main dining venue that, like many of the venues, can accommodate every single guest at once for breakfast, lunch and dinner. The big question is, being a French cruise line, is the cuisine any good? Well, inquisitive gastronomes will have to watch our experience review vlog to find out. Deck 5 is all staterooms and suites and all the accommodation corridors are thoughtfully designed with nice little artistic touches. Deck 6 has more staterooms and suites and we're going to show you our stateroom 602 in a separate video very soon. As this is the top deck for accommodation, there's also room for two more public areas. Midships on Deck 6 is the Art and Photography Gallery, where you come to view and order your photographs and videos of your voyage from your onboard professional photographer and videographer. There's also a small kids area and kids club should your little ones get bored of all the jaw-dropping views and adult expedition-y stuff. At the front of Deck 6 is the Panoramic Lounge, which has a mesmerizing 180 degree view of the scenery ahead of you as well as a selection of games, books and a bar that, although not open all day and evening, has a convenient beverage station. The outdoor terrace area here is a great place to relax in the open air while watching those panoramic sail-ins and sail-outs. Although it can get a bit windy out here, as there's not much to shelter you, you'll still find yourself gravitating towards these comfy seats and that ever-changing view. The final outdoor area is one further deck up on deck 7 and at the very back is a sun deck which is small, quiet and a great place to sun yourself. There's hardly any shade though so please bear that in mind. In true Ponon style that is common across its entire fleet, don't expect a top deck midships pool area that you may be used to on virtually every other ship. The middle of the ship up here is dedicated to Zodiac's lifeboats and equipment. Well, they have to have it somewhere. And let's not forget, this is an expedition ship after all, and a tiny one. Finally on deck 7 is the spa and fitness area. The spa is very nice indeed, with a couple's massage room with a view and this gorgeous curvy sauna overlooking the sea. There's also a manicure room and a hair salon. We did try out the sauna and the massage room when we were on board, so please look out for that. Be warned fellow gym bunnies and gym rats though, the gym is tiny and has no resistance equipment or free weights at all, just cardio equipment. Even for this size of ship it's far too small and under equipped. Last but definitely not least on this tour we're going to take you all the way back down to below decks, to a very special area exclusive to Ponon and exclusive to the Explorer class of ship, the Blue Eye Lounge, which is only accessible from one forward elevator. Entering here is entering a world under the sea. First of its kind, the multi-sensory lounge is all curves and arcs, with oval eye windows looking out into the vast underwater seascapes, and curved seating from which to relax with a glass of bubbly as you watch the subaquatic world around you. It truly is a world first, and we got to come down here almost every day of our voyage. What did we see? <laughs> well, the review vlog will reveal all. Well, it's only a small ship and that's it. So we recommend watching these Ponant videos next to continue your journey with this fabulously chic French cruise line. Would you cruise on a ship this small? What did you think of Le Dumont de Ville? Please leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Merci beaucoup and au revoir.